hello. My name is Spencer, welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, I thought I'd do something a little bit different for you all. I've noticed in the last few videos I've posted, you have been asking me to film and post a video going over my, going over, going over some of my top favorite products. Now, there are dozens and dozens and dozens of products that I can't imagine living life without. That ranges from eyeshadows to uh, foundations, creams, concealers, powders, you name it, you got it. But without having to turn this video into a full-blown docu-series length, I thought I would narrow it down to my current top five must-have favorite products for you and figured that if you guys like to see more videos like this where I share with you some of my favorite products, then you could let me know down in the comments below and I can get to working on filming more of these kind of videos. So without having to run my mouth on and on, let's get started. So the very first product that I'm going to share with you today is from a company called Krylon and it is their fixing spray. This is the queen of setting sprays in a world where one can only dream of having their makeup last all day this is the answer for you it's powerful it's long lasting it's intense it it it, it, it smells like shit, to be honest it smells like straight up rubbing alcohol i might even take a swig of it but really it's not too offensive i mean most setting sprays have alcohol contained in the ingredients because that's really what locks down your makeup throughout the day and prevents your makeup from becoming ruined from the sweat and the oil that's naturally produced. A comparable setting spray to this would be Huda Beauty's Resting Boss Face, and even that one has a really strong fragrance to it. It's more of a floral perfume-like fragrance, which I think I would almost prefer this one over that because I feel like that kind of gives me a headache sometimes. And I'm pretty sure the reason that they include that really strong floral scent in their setting spray is to overpower the smell of the alcohol. So again, just goes to show that alcohol is definitely a main ingredient in a lot of these setting sprays. And being that it completely seals your oil glands and your pores, I wouldn't recommend using this on a day-to-day -day basis. It would probably really mess up your skin. <laughs> but from time to time for a special occasion, it's not gonna hurt. I've used this on clients for their wedding day. I've used this on clients when they're full on performing for two hours straight on stage or um, for long shoot days, 16, 18 hour shoot days on set where I don't want the makeup to move. So if you're in, in that kind of scenario where you just need your makeup to stay all day and you don't wanna have to worry about it moving and budging, then this won't fail you. The next product I'm gonna share with you today is one of my most favorite things in the world, hands down, glitter. I know, but glitter does something to my soul that nothing else on this planet can even compare to. I must have been a burlesque dancer in a past life or something because glitter gets me feeling some kind of way. And you're probably thinking, Spence, glitter is glitter. How can you go wrong? They're all the same. Well, let me tell you that it can go very wrong very quickly. I know because I pretty much own any kind of glitter known to man at this point. If a brand has made it and put it up on a shelf to buy, I've been first in line to buy it. With that said, one of my all-time favorite glitters currently is from Urban Decay. It's their heavy metal glitters. There we go. And it's absolutely stunning. It's actually a glitter gel, which makes it really convenient to apply to the lid without having to set it with lash glue or any kind of other kind of glues. It'll stay in place all day until you wash it off at the end of the day. And this is in the shade Disco Daydream. And I probably use this one the most because it's a silver and I feel like silver kind of goes along with any eyeshadow color that you use underneath it. I've had this one for a while. So they're really, really long lasting. I've had this one for maybe about, um, maybe about a year now. Yeah, yeah. I've had this for about a year because this is actually the exact uh, glitter gel that I had used on Zavaya when we filmed the music video for Aladdin, A Whole New World. And I remember that because uh, on the way back from New York, somehow in my luggage, this exploded everywhere. And I still have some left that's lasting me forever. But when I opened up my luggage, it looked like a full blown glitter bomb exploded everywhere, everywhere. And I'm still finding it in pieces of my luggage to this day and around my house and underneath my shoes. Heck, I'm finding glitter in places where glitter should never be found. Use your imagination. 
But regardless, I still keep on going back to it. It's so good and it's so simple to use. All you gotta do is like throw it on your lid and bada bing, bada boom, you're out the door. Especially if you're having a night out with your girlfriends, you're going out to the club to dip it and do it. And you just wanna have a little sparkle on the lid to make it look like there's some effort put forward and some glamor and some luxury put forward in your makeup. This is the answer, honestly. I, let me just... Let me just show you. So I'm gonna put up just a basic eyeshadow on the back of my hand here, just so that the glitter has something to lay onto. And then you're gonna see here, when I put the glitter on, it's so reflective. I'm gonna turn down the lights a bit too, but uh, it's so reflective, it's gorgeous. It's like a disco ball on your eyelids, especially when you're on the dance floor and you blink, the light will catch that glitter and you'll have everyone's attention. Grab for your drink, take a sip. Look down while you take a sip. The light will catch the glitter. You'll have everyone's attention. It's a true showstopper. So it's worth giving it a try. Try it out and let me know. All right, so the third product I'm sharing with you is more than less a skincare product. Now I get so many questions either on YouTube now, um, but for sure in the past on Instagram of how I achieve that really glowy, dewy skin look. And Personally, it's a full-blown skincare routine that I follow religiously and have been for years. So if you guys want to see that skincare routine of mine, I can film that and get to working on it. Just let me know down in the comments and I can post that on YouTube soon. But I say all that to say that I think, I believe that skincare is more of a long-term commitment to see results, whereas makeup is more instant gratification, which of course we all love. But I want you to keep in mind that when I talk about this next product, it's coming from the perspective of a makeup artist and not a dermatologist. And even as a makeup artist, I, I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. So keep that in the back of your mind. Take this all by a grain of salt. So the next product is from a brand called Laura Mercier, and this is their Flawless Skin Infusion de Rose Moisturizing Glow Mask. If there were to be any product that gives me the quickest results in terms of moisturizing my skin, this would currently be it for me. This is the drink of water that my skin needs when it's so dehydrated. I did get this in PR, just to be 100% real with you, but even if I was walking through a Sephora and I saw this on the shelf, I don't know if I would reach for it. I don't know if I would. Only because it says glow mask on it. And I've never been one to really uh, invest as much as I should in facial masks. It's just never been my thing. I tried this out maybe three months after I received it in the mail from the company. And I didn't use it until I had a really crazy travel month. There was a month mid last year when I was traveling like crazy. There was literally a three week time period that my assistant and I were up in the air more than we were on the ground. We went from LA to New York, New York to Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, uh, back to LA, from LA to London, Paris, Italy, back to LA, then to New York, and then we went to Australia for less than 24 hours, and then back to LA. It was a disaster. And my skin was reaping the consequences for sure of all of that travel. So I was so desperate. I was going through what I had at home. I found this, I tried it out, and overnight, the texture of my skin really did dramatically change. And that's when I first became really hooked on this product and I've been using it ever since, so much so that I started using it on my clients as well. Going back to what I was saying, it is a mask, but I don't really use it as a mask. I use it as a full-blown moisturizer. So if you wanna see how this looks on the skin without makeup on top of it, then you can check out the very first video I posted on my channel where I did my own makeup. I think I called it my go-to makeup look. And I use this to prep my skin and you'll see how it just makes your skin look so dewy and refreshed and hydrated and moisturized. It's honestly a miracle in a bottle. And this is probably the third bottle I've gone through since, since using it. I use it every day. So being that it's my third bottle, it goes to show that a little goes a long way. I just apply like a little dime sized amount to my hands and I apply it to my face, wait about five minutes and then I'll continue on with my makeup routine. And the same goes with my clients. I apply it on their face, wait a few minutes and then I go on top of that with the foundation. Needless to, s oh, 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 what's happening to the light? Oh, oh sh oh, I think I'm sitting on the light remote. That or I didn't pay the electric bill. <sighs> found it. Needless to say, if your skin is really just hating you right now and feels like it's dehydrated and feels like it's just been ignored by you, pick this up, try it out, and thank me later. 
All right, so fourth product up is a little unexpected. It's spirit gum. I know the packaging looks busted. Please don't judge me, but it's a product that I always have on me. No matter where I go, it's much like me. It's cheap, it's cheerful, and you can pretty much pick it up on any street corner. I've purchased this on Amazon before. I've gotten it at different um, Halloween stores, costume stores. Most commonly, I'll pick it up at this big beauty center that we have here in Los Angeles called Namie's. You can get it pretty much anywhere though, and it's super affordable. And that leads me to why I love this product oh so much. It's because of its multi-use functionality. The very first thing I'll use this on are my eyebrows. So if you guys are experiencing really stubborn eyebrow hairs, I just go every which direction and never really stay up or in the position that you want it to, regardless of the product you use on them. Give this a try. It's definitely worth it. Um, I've used every kind of product on my brow hairs to try to keep them in place. I've used gels, I've used um, primers. I even used, I think at one point, a bar of soap and brushed it up with a spoolie. I, listen, desperate times call for desperate measures. I've tried everything and nothing really works the way I want it to until I tried Spiricum and I just brush it through with a spoolie and my brow hairs will turn into full on concrete. They will not move, they will stay all day. They will stay for days until I wash it off with some kind of oil-based makeup remover and that will just break down the product and dissolve it and won't pull out any of your brow hairs so you don't have to worry about that. But this has definitely been a godsend for my brows. Another reason I'll use this is for eyelash glue. So sometimes I just need a really strong industrial strength eyelash glue and when I do need that, then I'll turn to this a lot of times, uh, especially if I have a client shooting in, um, in rain or underwater or whatever the case is, I'll go to this because I know that it is so stubborn and it will prevent the eyelash from lifting. Again, you're gonna wanna remove it. If you were to use this, you're gonna wanna remove it the same way that you would remove this from your eyebrows. You just wanna use an oil-based eye makeup remover and it will come right off. I just apply it on the back of a Q-tip and just go right in and let it sit for a few minutes and it will peel right off without tearing out your eyelashes. But this is definitely as strong as it gets without having to use a full-blown hot glue gun on your eyes. If you're experiencing your eyelash Lash band from lifting at the corners a little bit. Try throwing a little bit of this on and you heard it here first, 100% guarantee it will work. I also use this to glue on rhinestones onto the face if I'm going for that kind of look. I've used it to, uh, I've used it in the past to glue down pieces of fabric um, or clothing if I don't have double-sided tape for a client. Um, I've even used it to brush down like my beard hairs to kind of keep everything into place and kind of keep it a little bit more tidy. So if you're a gent and you have a beard and you want to give it a try, go for it. If you're a lady and if you, um, <laughs> if you're a lady and you have a beard, then I fully support you and know that you are fabulous, baby. Okay, so we are on to our final product that I'm gonna share with you today of my top five must-have products. I feel like this video recording went by really, really quick. It's kind of eerie. I'm just trying not to talk so much. I'm trying to keep it concise and to the point because my mouth could run on forever before you know I'm talking about what fragrance deodorant I'm wearing and what brand food my cat is eating. And I don't even have a cat. So that tells you that. But of all the products I've shared with you today, this is definitely the product I have been using the longest and I will be the most pushy about you getting because everyone deserves to have this in their makeup bag. It is the MAC Clear Lip Glass. Now, while it seems that there may not be anything special about a clear gloss, I am here to convince you otherwise. Everyone deserves to have at least one good clear gloss to use in their makeup bag. And just about every brand makes one, but they're not all the same. A lot of brands I've noticed in their formula of their gloss, it's too runny and um, slippery and much like an oil-based gloss, which just breaks apart your lipstick and just makes a mess uh, throughout the day. Which is why I really like Max formula for their lip gloss. It's just that it's lip it's glass basically it's super thick it's super shiny and reflective you can practically see a reflection in it and it stays on the lips so well the longevity of it is unparalleled to most glosses i've used and i've talked about my love for clear glosses i think in the last video i posted or the video before that I kind of went on to say that by having at least one good clear gloss you'll really never have to buy any other gloss ever so let me further explain that there are so many different kind of glosses out there on the market. You have glosses that are super opaque with color. You have other glosses that are a little bit more 
sheer that just have a tint of color in it you have glosses that have a reflex sparkle in them but with just this one clear gloss you can achieve all of those types of glosses with any lipsticks that you already have at home and i'll go ahead and show you how okay so i'm taking a little bit of that mac clear gloss in the back of my hand and i am mixing it in with a matte liquid lipstick of course you can use any lipstick you have but i'm using the one from kylie cosmetics in the shade boy bye and then i just take that product from the back of my hand and apply it straight to my lips and as you can see you have that really pigmented gloss look definitely not even but you get the point uh, it will stay this glossy even though it's a matte liquid lipstick it's not going to become matte it will stay this glossy because of that gloss pigment that we had added in so there we have it you know i really just wanted to show the diversity in such a simple product like who would have thunk that a clear gloss can do so much um, if you wanted to keep the gloss really opaque with pigment and color then you can add just as much of the lipstick that you already have at home as i did or you can add less and more gloss um, to create a really sheer effect or you can add a little bit of glitter if you want to have a little bit of pigment in that gloss it can be so diverse so instead of you having to go out and spend all your hard-earned coins on all these different colored glosses you can literally just make them at home with what you already have as long as you have a good handful of lipsticks to work with and of course a good clear gloss such as the one from mac it's also important to note that i've used this for other reasons besides lip gloss i've used this uh, clear gloss to apply on the top of the lids if I'm going for that more editorial look uh, I've even used this on the face So I'll take a little bit put it on the back of my hand take a beauty blender work it into the beauty blender And just take it down the high points of my face where I want a natural glow highlight So that includes down the center of the nose I've taken it even on the cheekbones a bit just to add that natural glow and shine back to the skin to give it a little bit of life So if I encourage you to get any of the products that I've shared with you today This will definitely be at the top of the list. It will change your life if you use it right and there we have it, kids. We're finally done with this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, me sharing some of the products that I find to be really useful in my makeup applications that I use quite often. I encourage you to try out some of these products on your own and see how they work out for you. By no means do I want you to feel like I'm um, pressuring you to go out and spend money on makeup products if you don't have it. It's tough times for a lot of us right now, and I know there are far more important things to be spending your hard-earned coins on than some silly makeup products. But if you do have some extra cash stashed away in the mattress or in the piggy bank, then go ahead and treat yourself, girl. I'm really just here to show a little love and help take your minds off all the craziness that's going on in the world right now, even if it's just for a few minutes. So if I've done just that, give this video a big old fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know down below in the comments of any other videos that you may want to see from me in the future, whether it be reviews or challenges or makeovers or whatever it is. I'm here to serve you, baby. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.